one for part three of the um, making of the CCTV bracket orthographic projection. And we have done the side view, we've done the front view. Uh, we are now going to uh, have a go at the uh, plan view or the view from above. So I'm just going to stick that label up here anyway, straight away. And let's uh, just change that text. If it will let me. Okay. This is where the program is shooting on it. Oh, that's fine. Plan view. Click OK. And uh, we'll start as usual with a rectangle. Now we know, uh, sort of, so looking at this from above, so we're looking at the CCTV bracket from above. So again, we're going to be looking at a rectangle and with some divisions in there. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Um, um, we need to know the dimensions. Well, um, we already know that the bracket is a uh, 50 millimeter wide. Um, let's double check that. Let's add a little dimension here just to double check that. So we have a horizontal dimension there. Let's click into that corner there and that corner there. And pull up 50 millimeter. Yes, perfect. And we know that the total length um, is going to be I'm going to click in this corner here. Oops. Make sure we click in that corner there and down in this corner here. Although I'm going diagonally, uh, it will give me a horizontal dimension because I have chosen the horizontal dimension tool, which is useful. And we know it's going to be 150 um, long. Okay, so. Uh, 50 thick and 150 long, so that's what we want. Um, so I'm just going to grab my rectangle tool, click on a dot, let go, hover into my relative window. So there's three options here. There's relative, polar, and absolute. We want the relative window. So we're going to go sideways 150, and I'm going to go down minus 50. So if we go down in the y direction, it's always minus. And there we go, and there's our view. Um, so that is what we're looking at from above. And then we need to make sure that we um, uh, get the corners in, how, how they look. So uh, we know that the first corner here uh, is 115 in. Um, so let's grab ourselves a little dimension, horizontal dimension, and put in that 115. 10 and 15, let me pull down, okay, that means we just need to get a straight line across here, like so, and that is this corner here, right, and then we know that there's a corner here, and that's 10 in from the other corner, so that's all we need to do, we don't have to put the dimensions, but they should really be there. Um, according to British standard, because that is what we are drawing it to. Um, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, I'm going to tidy these uh, dimensions up a bit because they uh, need to be pulled down a little bit. So I'm going to pull that one down two notches and that one down two notches or one notch rather. So that it's a bit more tidy. That's better. And then we need another line in here. Oops, it is perfectly straight, like so. And that's the top corner there. Okay. And that is essentially um, the CCTV bracket um, plan view. 80% finished. What's missing? Well, we are missing the holes here. Um, and. Uh, we need to make sure that um, that hole is uh, straight in the middle here. Uh, we're going to do a few tricks to make sure that it is um, straight in the middle. But first of all, we need to find a dimension um, 
from the edge. So let's have a look at our original drawing, uh, the finished one under plan view. Let's zoom in on that. Um, so uh, we can see here we are uh, on the um, uh, uh, inside, uh, sorry, the um, measure from the left hand side, um, 30 on the uh, center point. Um, now the center point is obviously very useful for uh, multiple uh, circles and uh, we know that the um, uh, center point from down uh, the top edge is 25 so that is really in this case the best way to indicate and measure up um, so we're gonna get ourselves a horizontal dimension first I'm gonna grab that corner and make sure we are 30 in okay I'm gonna pull that up for the time being because I want to hit on the sweet spot here and then I'm going to move it down later on. So I'm just going to leave it there. And then we need our, our vertical. And that's going to go down 25. It doesn't matter what I hit on, so long as I have 25 there. Okay, I'm going to pull that in a bit. So that we know that where these lines here cross, where that 30 line cross with the 25, that's exactly where the circle is going to be. So what's the dimension of the first circle? Um, let's pull up a few dimensions on that. So we click and hold and let's go to the radius. Let's pull up a radius on the big circle. I'll put that there, that's 15 radius. And on the small one, I'm gonna pull that one down here. That's six and a half, okay? So six and a half on the first one, that's the smallest one, and uh, 15 on the big one, right? Okay, let's do that. So I'm gonna double click. That means I get a radius, 6.5. Click OK, start angle doesn't matter. Click OK. And I'm going to make sure I'm on the 30 mark and the 25 mark. Click it off like so. Then I'm going to do the same again. And this time I set 15 millimeter. 15. Start angle, I said, doesn't matter. And I'm going to make sure I do the same thing on the 30 mark and on the 25 mark, like so. And then now that we have done that, we can tidy up our dimensions so I want this out of the way I still want the dimension to be there uh, so it's a correctly dimensioned drawing I'm just going to pull it down there so it's out of the way of the drawing and same one with this one pull that to the side here now we've got a correctly dimensioned but tidy drawing and um, uh, and as you know, again, we used to do this with projection lines um, and, uh, you know, to make sure everything lines up, but our power tool is much more useful to us. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to pull this, select it and group it so it doesn't fall apart when we move it. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to line it up with the left hand edge of this side view. So I'm going to put left, click OK, and I'm going to move that so it hits there. Perfect. And as you can see, our dimensions have messed up a bit. That's OK. We'll move those later. Um, what I'm going to do first of all is I think we need to move the whole thing. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to move this one up a bit into the corner here. I haven't grouped that. I 
of lights. So that's out of the way a bit there. And then what I'll do is I'll move this sideways and up a bit. Make sure I'm selecting all of it so I don't you know mess up the proportions here. Okay, excellent. And then I can move the dimensions here. I'm gonna put radio lock on so I only move it sideways. So it's moving sideways there and a little bit more. Make sure I move it like so, and that line is perfectly lined up there. That's fine. I need to move it a little bit more sideways. And now it shifted sideways as well as up, and that's no good. So I'm just gonna and then pull it down. One too many. Oh, that's because I've got grid lock on, that's why. So only radio lock. I can line it up perfectly. And the more I zoom in, the more accurate I can be. Yes, perfect. And then sideways. Magic. Okay. So that's our plan view done. Uh, 95% because we have something called hidden lines and um, I think just for now uh, I'm gonna take a little break and then we'll get back to you in uh, number four um, so where we are going to talk about hidden details and how to make the screw holes um, and add a few more dimensions just to finish off. But this now, if you have got this plan view, side view and front view, uh, you have essentially got a um, perfectly uh, correct drawing. This will be to a pass standard at the moment. Okay, so in uh, part number four, uh, I'm gonna show you how to get up to the merit uh, and distinction standard with this drawing okay see you in a bit